Hey guys, Rubber Tramp Renegade here. Today I'm going to install shore power on my van. I do have my 12 volt system, but I need uh, some kind of shore power just to run a couple electronics, uh, maybe an air conditioner or heater or something like that if I end up using my generator or go to a campground where there's power. So let me show you what I've got uh, for this install. All right, the first thing that I have is this plug that I'm gonna be putting in the side of the van. Here you see it, it's right here. It's got a little rubber cover. It opens up and it's just a plug and it's got an end on it. And what I'm gonna do is put this in the van and then wire it to other outlets. So I have some 12-2 wire here. I've got a couple outlets. I'm gonna have one in the back and one up by the bed. Then I've got these covers. Um, I have two different electrical boxes this one is going to go up by my bed and I'll show you that when I get it installed this one is I always just call them a sheetrock box it's got little flaps here that when you tighten the screws it tightens up against the you know the paneling or the drywall I'm going to use that one in the rear and I'll, I'll kind of go over why I chose that um, here's just some cable ties some clamps to clamp the wire to my bed frame and then I have a two inch hole saw to fit this right here. So let's get started. Alright so I'm on the side of the van here and what I've done is marked out where I want it. I've, I've decided on putting it here instead of here and the reason why is um, on the inside where I want my outlet. I don't want anything to interfere so I've marked it out. I've measured everything and basically I'm going to drill a hole here, a two inch hole, and then if we go around to the inside of the van, I've got everything moved out of the way here, and that is right on the other side of here, and I'm going to put an outlet right there on this side. So. Alright, so this is the box I showed you earlier. Now it's kind of funky. It's not real deep. Um, and it's got these flaps on here. And these flaps, what they do is when you tighten this screw, see if it pulls that up and it it sandwiches that plywood, the paneling for the van, right in there so it holds tight. Now um, when I put this in, I just slide it in the hole there, and then it's got these little knockouts here. The wire is gonna come in that knockout come into here where I can wire that um, outlet. I'll have one wire coming in here for the from the cord. Actually, I'm going to cut this end off right here and that'll come in here and then another wire will come from the bottom and go towards the front of the van to my other outlet. So I'm going to have one outlet here and one in the front. And this is just going to slide in here just like that and tighten up and now what I did I had to make sure to leave room for the cover so the cover doesn't interfere right here when you put that outlet cover on alright so I went ahead and pre-drilled some holes here for the screws that hold this in but I'm gonna use some black um, silicone caulk that I had um, from when I did the lights on the roof so that way if any water comes down the side of the van it won't get inside the van
All right, so I've got this screwed in. You saw um, it's right here on the side of the van. It's You can see the silicone around it where it's sealed. Um, it basically, it's just got a little rubber plug. That's going to go there. So that's installed. And then around the side on the inside of the van here, I've got my first outlet box in here. And you can see the wire from the plug on the outside. And then this is the wire, and I've got it running up towards the front. So let me show you what I'm doing in the front of the van. All right, so inside the van here, you can see I've got my 12 volt plug there from our refrigerator. And that's also where I'm going to put this box. Um, it's got these little tabs on the side where I can screw it in. It's going to go down here like this. And then I'm going to screw the screw the box in. It's going to be a little bit difficult to screw that box in um, because of where it's at. But I think I can get it screwed in there where it won't go anywhere. Um, I'm going to have to take this little rubber grommet off of this little rubber cover for my 12 volt. It, it kind of gets in the way. Uh, but then I've just got my wire here. That goes to the back of the van. And then I'm going to tuck that wire all along in here, drill a hole in the side of here so it'll come down here. Now, I've got plenty of wire and I'm going to make it neat. The reason I want a plug here is because it's centrally located inside the van. The one in the back, uh, my plan for the one in the back is if I end up putting a window unit air conditioner in the back door there, I'll have a plug right there beside it so I won't have to need an extension cord or anything. So let me get this outlet installed and then wire everything up. All right, so here's the finished product. I've just got a little bit of cleaning up to do, uh, get rid of all the dust and everything. But here it is. I've got one outlet down here and the wire runs up here and then back to that outlet back there. And let's go around to the other side. Back here on the back of the van, I've got this outlet right here, and this will be perfect if I have a window unit air conditioner here. When it's closed, I can plug it in right there. That wire just runs from here up to the front. And then over on this side here, we have the plug, and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right guys, so I hope you found that video informative. Um, just wanna make a little disclaimer here. I'm not an electrician. I don't claim to be an electrician. So um, anything you do to your van, do your research. Make sure you do it uh, the way you're comfortable with. Uh, you're welcome to use the way I did it, but just keep in mind, I'm not an electrician. While I know a little bit about elect you know, electricity and wiring a little bit, uh, there may be something that I did incorrectly. So. But as far as I know, everything should work fine. Now I can use my generator um, if I happen to go anywhere and um, have my generator with me. I can just plug in my generator and have a little bit of power in the van or I can hook up to a campground if they just have a regular 110, like a 15 amp plug-in. So thanks for watching my videos. Have a good one.